Last fall, Todd Culhep was arrested after a woman was found chained in a container on his property. She told police that her boyfriend had been killed and that this woman was next. She was Culhep's girlfriend. And she tells our Megan Alexander not only did she not know she was dating a serial killer, it turns out she lent him the money he needed to buy that container. This woman had no idea that the man she was having an affair with was one of America's most notorious serial killers. There was always something that sat uneasy with me about him, and I just really couldn't put my finger on it. Holly Udy is still coming to terms with the terrifying trail of death left by the man she was in love with for 10 years, Todd Colehap. You may remember Colehap. He's the real estate broker from Spartanburg, South Carolina, whose sick crime spree stunned the nation. Colehap was arrested last November after a woman he kidnapped was found chained by the neck inside a storage container on his property. Hey, we're going to get you out of there, okay? It was just disgusting. I mean, it was sickening. Holly is now revealing her relationship with Colehap for the first time. What was it about Todd that made you want to be involved with him? He gave me a lot of attention, and he made me feel like I was important. Holly, who was married, met the clean cut broker in 2006 and started an affair. She never suspected that he had already murdered four innocent people. It was Holly who actually loaned Colehep the money to buy the container. Colehep told Holly that he needed the container to store supplies. He had it delivered here to this remote property he owned, 95 acres of mostly dense forest, miles from civilization. He put shelving in it and stocked it with canned food and cases of water. Holly couldn't have known that he was turning the container she helped him buy into a prison. That container was way, way back there in the woods. A drone flying above gave us a good perspective of Colehep's property. The container was right here. I mean, that is completely surrounded by woods. You can't hear anything if you're back here. She was completely isolated. Yes. You actually went into the container. Yes. Were you suspicious at all when you were in there? No, it was simply storage. It was all storage. Did you ever notice anything the way he was arranging it about what it was going to be used for in the future? No. When cops rescued Kayla Brown you know in that storage is? container, she told them what Colehep had done to her boyfriend, Charlie Carver. Todd Colehep shot Charlie Carver three times in the chest, wrapped him in a blue tarp, put him in the bucket of the tractor. He says he's dead and buried. As Kayla was being transported to the hospital, she made this stunning statement. Some girl named Holly is supposedly planning to kill him. My mouth fell open the first time I, I heard it. I stopped and I rewinded and I listened to it again. Some girl named Holly is supposedly planning to kill him. Yes, she did just say my name. She just said my name. Holly admitted the affair to her husband. They are now having a baby. She can't help but feel she could have been Colehep's next victim. It's overwhelming looking at it and trying to put myself in Kayla's shoes. I know I wouldn't have survived. I know I wouldn't have. Todd Colehep avoided the death penalty by pleading guilty to seven counts of murder as well as kidnapping. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.